All right, there's a new thing going around these days, especially if you tend to, around the holidays, eat out um, more often. It's tipping fatigue. Yeah. Yeah, more than half of people are, are running into tipping fatigue when it, when it comes to being out and about too often because it's like, uh, I got to tip again. How much am I tipping this time? You know? And, and it comes down to, you know, you, if you're tipping a lot, um, you've been out and about to parties and with friends and whatever more than usual. Um, it's adding up. It, exactly. Yeah. But y- y- you don't want to get really cheap because if you do that, then you're a real jerk. But you don't want to get too extravagant because it's costing you more money because, you know, 25% for lunch and 25% for dinner and 25% for drinks afterwards. It's like, this is too much. Yeah. We have problems with this stuff. 70% of us say we feel guilty if we don't leave a tip. Um, I mean, people hate looking them in the eye. Yeah. You know. But they got to remember, too, there's other service industries that now have the tip option. So that's a hard one, too. Like, if somebody's there and they just finish fixing your plumbing, you got to pay them for the plumbing job. Do you tip them, too, as you're, like, standing uh-huh. there, shaking oh, yeah. their hand, thanking them? Awkward. Awkward. Um, and now, post-pandemic, um, we're, we're still tipping more than we were. Sure. But the number... The amount that 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 we were tipping during the pandemic has come down. We were well, we were we've over forty two percent. We've had right, other exactly. things, so it's yeah. But you see who the number one tippers still are? Northeast, Northeast. Uh twenty six percent of people usually tip food delivery drivers at least twenty percent now. Some um, that's down from thirty two percent last year and thirty eight percent the year before. Yeah, and 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 despite tipping fatigue. Um, we're, we're gearing up to leave even bigger tips than usual over the next month or so. Almost two thirds will tip more around the holidays. Yeah. Because they, they know said. that they know that these people are mm-hmm. busting it for their holidays too. Yes. So it's catch 22. Yes. But they don't uh, always. Another thing, here's yeah. a tip, not about tipping, but have good manners. A lot of places are understaffed, mm-hmm. overworked. Be patient. Don't be miserable. If the yeah. kitchen's backed up, don't take it out on the delivery driver. Don't take it out on the kitchen staff if they're undermanned too, because you want quality, not speed at that point. So don't walk into a restaurant, down. be told there's a half an hour wait, and say, there's tables there, there's one there, there's one there. Well, when you're running short on waitresses and waiters, yes. somebody has to cover that table now. And then you're the one that's on that table and mad because nobody's been over to get your drink order and whatnot exactly. because they're understaffed. Just, and then you, you yeah. leave, leave a lousy tip because of that. Be patient and be kind. Right. Seriously, life's too short. We all got to live together. Why not make it a little more breathable? Get more Just info. saying. Right now, Yes FM Facebook, exit 967-YES-FM, and the Mercer in the Morning page at yesfm.com.